Welcome back. We're now into the editing portion of your app process. Let's start with the basics, screen management, layouts, and adding text. As you can see here in the edit section, the screens your app template comes with will be listed here on the left. You can reorder them at any time by clicking and dragging, or you can create a new screen by clicking the button at the bottom. When creating a new screen, you'll be asked to select a layout for your screen from a list of previews, or you can create a new one from scratch. If this is your first app and you plan on launching to a public app store, we recommend using one of the layout templates for any new screen, as these are structured in ways that are approved by the App Store and by Google Play, but we'll cover this in more detail later on. For now, just select the screen that you want to use and give it a name. If you ever want to change the layout of the screen, you can do so by clicking layouts on the right toolbar at the side here. It's important to note that the content of the screen that you're changing the layout of will not be saved. There's even a handy little reminder here. We recommend either saving your content in a separate document or creating a new screen with an alternative layout of the same content instead to make sure you don't lose anything. The content of the screen you have selected will be in the middle device and visible right here. By clicking on different highlighted areas of the device, you can interact with the content in different ways. You can move around existing components add or edit the existing text by clicking on it and engaging with it using the toolbar at the top. You can add new text by dragging a text block from the components section on the right and place it where you'd like to see it in your live app. To recap, your screens live over here. You can reorder them by clicking and dragging. You can click directly on the screen content to engage with it and your components all live over here. In our next video, we'll show you what exactly the components are and what you can do with them.